Hi everyone, I'm so excited to start my new series called Curls with your girl. For those who don't know me, I'm Cynthia. And I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve every single type of curl throughout this series. Here's some info of the different type of curls I'm gonna do throughout this series. It goes anywhere from voluminous curls, messy waves, effortless hair. We're gonna do all of it. So make sure to subscribe so you guys can follow along. And to kick off the series, we're gonna start off with these soft waves. So if you guys wanna learn how, keep watching. For today's look, I'm gonna be using a 1.25 inch clamp curling iron. I also have a beginner's curling iron tutorial. If you guys are not familiar with how to use a clamp curling iron, so make sure to check that one out as well. So I usually start by sectioning off right above my ear and then clipping this away we're going to take sections about this big which is the size of the curling iron about and since we want these soft waves to be a little bit more uniform we are going to curl everything in the same direction and we are not going to alternate the curls always use heat protection i love using the aerosol ones for dry hair so it doesn't leave your hair wet because that's what causes sizzling when you touch your curling iron with your hair we're going to start with a section about this big you want to make sure you start at the top of the strand and your clamp is facing forward so not in the back it's going to be facing front another thing to know is try not to go all the way down and then start try starting at the top and then curling from the top and i always like to give this disclaimer is if you are not familiar with the technique practice with the curling iron off once you feel like you got it down turn it on and then go ahead and try it so you are not spreading your hair so you're going to start at the top you're going to curl away from the face feeding the hair through until about when you have one two strands on the curling iron and then you're going to take that tip part bring it underneath that very first strand and take it out you're going to feed it through again now you have two strands again you're going to take that tip out from underneath that very first strand and then take it out like that and do that same thing throughout and drag down like this. And the reason I like to do it this way is because this creates more of a wave versus a curl. If I were to curl it the regular way, then you are gonna get more of a bouncier curl and I want soft waves today. There will be times where we will use different techniques to achieve those different type of curl styles, but I find that this technique works best when you want more of a wave look. We're gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna repeat it again. Start with the clamp forward, start at the very top, and you're gonna twist away from the ear about two times where you feed the hair and you should see about like two strands on the curling iron you're gonna take that tip of the curling iron out from that very first strand bring it out and around feed some more hair through take that tip out from that very first strand out and around feed some more hair through and do the same thing all the way down this strand I'll show you really quick what it looks like, how I do it without talking and in the regular motion. And wait till the end because we are going to make it so much better. I'm going to go ahead and section it one more time. And I know sometimes you want to be lazy and just grab this whole section and curl it but then you're gonna have uneven curls so we want to make sure we are good with our sections and have even sections throughout it's gonna get repetitive i'm gonna fast forward i'm gonna show you guys what i do after okay same thing forward clamp forward curl away from the face take that tip roll it underneath that very first strand feed more hair through Take that tip, roll it underneath that very first strand, and do that throughout. I didn't do the bangs yet, but this side is done. When it comes to the front pieces, it's personal preference. So some people like a more subtle bang where it doesn't look like you have bangs. It kind of just looks more sleek and straight. Or do you want more of that swoopy bang going like this? I'm going to quickly show you how to do each and then I'll do the one that I like to do. But if you want a more subtle bang, just bend it a little bit at the tip and use your fingers to roll it into this first curl 
and it doesn't really look like you have a bang. If you want more of a bang, you're gonna curl it a little bit more at the ends and leave it on a little bit longer. Again, clamp this forward. Add that curl right there in the end. So you see how it opens up that eye more. You have more of the curls starting from the very top versus the curls starting from the bottom. I'm gonna take a no crease clip and shape it how I want it to lay. So I want it to go in my face a little bit more. And I kind of wanted to sit forward like this on my forehead a little bit while having that swoop so it could show that I have a bang. So you can see the difference. One is no bang, one is more of a bang. Do whatever works best for you. I like the bangs, so I'm gonna redo this one to match this one. Hairspray them. While I let this sit, we're gonna work on the rest of the hair. Brush does matter depending on what type of curl you want to achieve. I'm gonna use a flexible brush versus a wide tooth comb. This works best if I want more PC, messier looks. This works if I want more of a softer put together look. Start at the bottom. And let's brush these curls. Same thing on this side. Now let's add some texture spray to make it more full and make them not stick together in one big circle. It's okay to get a little messy because we're going to tame everything back down. Do you see the volume this texture spray is giving? Products help so much with enhancing any hairstyle. Let's tame everything back down. And as you can see, it's now fuller. It's not raveling into one big spiral because of the product. Let's take these babies out. Okay, so then I'm just going to tease it a little bit by going like that wherever that wave is that dip just back brushing just a little and what this is going to do it's going to um help the curl not get into one big spiral and keep it the way it is and because i did everything with the same sections it's easy to find that wave it's very uniform Just hairspraying everything into place. This is the final look. I'm so excited to start this series with you guys. Make sure to subscribe to your girl's channel so you guys can learn how to do all the different type of curls. I'm going to have you guys rocking the best hairstyles by summer. So don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, comment what you guys would like to see next, and I'll see you guys next time.